Bible prophecy is fulfilling right before our eyes. Notice what the headline says from the Washington Examiner. People will die. Violent U.S.-China clash possible soon. Senior GOP lawmaker says a violent confrontation between the United States and China would take place within months, according to an American lawmaker wary of Beijing's expansionist foreign policy. Many of you are aware that we have repeatedly stated that America and China must war before the mark of the beast, which is a national Sunday law. Many of you have seen that video that we released back in December of 2019. Notice, based on a correct interpretation of Daniel 11, 42 to 44. We'll put the link to that video in the description box below. Notice what the article goes on to say. I would predict there will be a clash within the next three to six months. Florida Rep. Ted Yoho, the top Republican on the House Foreign Affairs Subcommittee for Asia, told the Washington Examiner. It says, Knowing China, I think what they would do is ram one of our ships and say it was a mistake, Yoho said, while discussing U.S. naval exercises in the South China Sea. So here, he predicts, the Florida Rep. Ted Yoho says, that within three to six months, we can expect people to die and that there will be a violent clash between America and China and possibly this could take place in the South China Sea. We'll notice another article discussing the South China Sea. It says, South China Sea World War III alert as expert reveals most dangerous threat to U.S. and China. China-U.S. rivalry in the South China Sea is escalating due to the buildup of naval maneuvers where vessels from both sides are sailing dangerously close to each other, increasing the risk of a military clash. So here we're seeing the situation between America and China intensifying, and this must take place based on Bible prophecy before the mark of the beast. Notice another headline. It says, South China Sea, U.S. ships ready for war as China flexes muscles. So now they are stating that the U.S. ships are ready for war. Another headline from Express, it says, China curses Trump in terrifying U.S. warning, we will continue to rise. No one can stop it. This is what officials from China are stating. Notice this short video of Victor Gao from the China National Association of International Studies has warned Donald Trump that the U.S. needs to come to terms with the reality that China will become larger and more impactful than the United States. He also says that America is cursed whether Trump wins the election or whether Biden wins the election. And he says that the U.S. should expect turmoil between now and January. Notice this short video from this Chinese official. China will continue to rise and eventually the United States will need to come to terms with the reality of a China which may be larger and more impactful than the United States in about 10 to 15 times. This is a mega trend. Right. No one can stop it, no one can uh, reverse it. But quite apart from the mega trend, and we'll get on to that in a minute, if Joe Biden becomes the next president of the United States, do you expect relations to improve or not? Well, first of all, I do not know what exactly will happen between now and uh, November the 3rd. I think the United States will be cursed if Trump wins. It will be cursed if Trump loses. And there will be great turmoil in the United States between now and January the 20th, 2021. Be it Trump or, or be it Biden, China need to take right. each one of them on as he is. 
There you just heard it from him directly that China needs to take the U.S. on and that you can expect turmoil in the United States between now and January 20th. These are now two more indications showing forth the potential for war on U.S. soil. Many of you saw our video on the Chinese invasion back a few months ago, as well as the Three Prophetic Dreams video that there was seen in dreams Russian and Chinese soldiers on U.S. soil. Expect war, and we're going to discuss more of this in our Wednesday live stream regarding the preparation for those that are residing in America and their need of preparation, both spiritually and practically what you should do because this east wind that is about to blow will lead to a major economic collapse. It will not be a total collapse, but it will affect the financial structure of not just America, but of the world. Notice, Another headline from Newsweek, it says, China warns it will act if the United States deploys new missiles to Asian allies. You see, we have allies over in Asia, such as Japan and Taiwan, and if we give missiles to them, China says that they will act. Again, we will see war between America and China before the mark of the beast. Here, another headline. It says, defying the United States, China and Iran near sweeping trade and military partnership. We've shared this before, how Iran, Russia, and China are allies. And should we go to war with any one of those nations, expect the other two to get involved. So this is a direct move against America. And remember, America struck with a drone and killed General Soleimani in January of 2020. And Iran is looking for payback. So in light of that, Iran wants to ally with China so that they can get revenge on America. Meanwhile, in another article from Rudders, it says Russia's Putin, China's Xi, agree to boost economic cooperation. So again, they are allying themselves. And back in December of 2019, the three were participating in naval exercises, military exercises in the Indian Ocean, showing forth they are preparing to work together in war. And now today, China has issued sanctions on U.S. lawmakers, including Marco Rubio, Ted Cruz, over Xinjiang. Just a few days ago, there were three Chinese officials that America issued sanctions over. So every move is being tit for tat, where we're seeing retaliation between the two countries. We know that prophecy says that communism must fall in order for the mark of the beast to be enforced in China. And this is why America has allied with the Vatican, so that the Vatican's resurgence to supremacy in the world for world domination and for Sunday observance to be enforced, not just in America, but over the entire world, China must fall. Communism must fall in order for that to happen. Notice what took place last year while Mike Pompeo was at the Vatican, it says, scolding China, Pompeo proposes U.S.-Vatican alliance on religious freedom. So here, he's scolding China while at the Vatican. Notice another headline confirming this. Catholic News Agency, at Vatican, Secretary Mike Pompeo highlights Chinese religious freedom violations. So again, China is the issue of discussion while America and China unite. And we've seen this before to bring down communism when America under Ronald Reagan united with Pope John Paul II of the Vatican to bring down Soviet Russia. And the same thing will play itself out in these last days in order for communist China to fall a union between the Vatican 
in America. And this will lead to the enforcement of the mark of the beast, which is over the issue of worship. When we examine Revelation 13 and verse 12, Revelation 13 and verse 15, Revelation 14 and verse 9, all three verses brings to view the issue of worship over the mark of the beast. The issue of worship. And God placed a mark upon Cain in Genesis chapter 4 because of his false worship and killing his brother. And the issue of the mark of the beast is over false worship and the issue of a death penalty, a death decree by the government. And all those who take the mark of the beast, which is Sunday observance by law at that time, if they embrace Sunday, when it is enforced by law, they will receive the mark of the beast. Because who is the beast? Roman Catholicism. And what is the mark of her authority? Sunday observance. And this is why we will see war between America and China before the mark of the beast. Because the papacy desires to enforce Sunday, not just in America, but globally. On a worldwide scale, they desire to enforce Sunday observance. This is what Pope Francis has said will be the solution for climate change. Will also, he has stated, this will be in the common good, for the purpose of the common good. Brothers and sisters, we must obey God's seven day Sabbath. Exodus 20, eight through 11 is clear that the seventh day is the Sabbath. Now's the time for us to share the truth concerning the fulfillment of Bible prophecy as we prepare for the second coming of Jesus. Please take this downtime to both prepare your heart and the hearts of others that they may come to a knowledge of truth in a saving relationship with Jesus Christ. Please continue to tune in as we live stream on Wednesday regarding the preparation practically and spiritually for this war between America and China as there will be an invasion in the near future. Jesus is coming soon, brothers and sisters. Let us prepare.